Sean Doolittle is a big fan of bat flips and other home run celebrations. Photo by Jonathan Newton The Washington Post, by Scott Allen September 5 at 4.31 p.m. Sean Doolittle has been on the disabled list since just before the All-Star break with a stress reaction in his left foot, but the Nationals reliever is nearing a return after throwing another simulated game on Wednesday. His sense of humor and perspective about baseball's unwritten rules, though, remain intact. During an interesting two-part conversation with Kelly Wallace published this month on Expanded Roster, Doolittle and his wife, Erin Dolan, discussed a variety of topics, including wages for minor league players and their willingness to speak out on social issues. The notion of respecting the game also came up in Doolittle, who has weighed in on the ridiculousness of Major League Baseball policing individual expression, and certain players frowning upon on-field displays of emotion before, didn't hold back. Diarises we now return to our regularly scheduled game R D S P D C T I N G Diarises please refrain from using any custom arm sleeves, spikes, bats or personality until next year's number players weekend event. Thank you. Sean Doolittle, at Wat Wildudo, August 27, 2018 from February, Sean Doolittle avoided Metro for weeks after team told him he looked like Seth Rogen Doolittle touched on the home run that Indian star Francisco Linder hit in April in his native Puerto Rico, which was still recovering from the destruction caused by Hurricane Maria. Afterward, Linder felt compelled to apologize if he offended anyone with his jubilant jaunt around the bases. This is awesome. Number Puerto Rico series picked out twitter.com ad5j8ncmt1 MLB at MLB April 18, 2018 when he hit that home run in Puerto Rico. He celebrated, do a little set. People got mad enough about it that he felt like he needed to qualify what he did rounding the bases. He raised his hand, and, I think, he did a fist pump between rounding first and second. People were like you don't do that. He was like, listen, you obviously forgot what my country's been through. Like, maybe you forgot how much this game means to Puerto Rico. He hit a huge home run in a huge moment. There's not usually even Major League Baseball there. Come on. Doolittle also said he was bothered that Cubs catcher Wilson Contreras was told to stop wearing the Venezuelan flag arm sleeve he debuted last season, while MLB forces every player, no matter where they're from, to wear stars and stripes themed jerseys for the 4th of July. A lot of these guys, come to America and baseball was their ticket to give their family a better life," Doolittle told Wallace. They come from less privileged situations than most American players come from. Don't talk about disrespecting the game when the game has given them these unbelievable opportunities to improve the lives of them and their families. They're incredibly grateful for the opportunity to play this game. I promise you they're not disrespecting the game. If you got your feelings hurt, that's on you. If a guy hits a home run off me, drops to his knees, pretends the bat is a bazooka, and shoots it out at the sky, I don't give a mess. I hope after this gets published someone does that, Dolan quipped before the following exchange, which led to the to the creation of Sean Doolittle's home run challenge, expanded rosters Kelly Wallace, if someone hits a homer off you in the future, Sean Doolittle, they better make it count. Aaron Dolan, make it count. Moonwalk around the bases. Doolittle, do cartwheels around the entire diamond. Wallace, I would pay good money to see that. Can you do that? Do little, I don't think that's a penalty. Dolan, there's only one way to find out. 
Wallace, I would offer to pay it, but the fine is probably $10,000. Doolittle, how about if I match the fine and give it to charity? Wallace, there we go. Sean Doolittle will donate $10,000 to the charity of your choice if you moonwalk the bases after you hit a homer off him. Tell everyone. Doolittle, if you do any sort of celebration, really, but I have to think the celebration was actually good, 